Hello, people of YouTube. I haven't uploaded in many years, but uh, I just feel the Lord's prompting right now. Um, I don't know what will become of this, but, you know, I have videos from several years ago where he was telling me, you know, I really need to put it out there. And so I did. And we'll do it again now. And I don't want to steal the thunder of my my pastor or anything like that with the, the title, but the Lord revealed to me this year that for several years, for, I mean, for almost 20 years now, I've been in bondage, even as a Christian, that we don't understand a lot of things here in America that they do understand in other countries and they don't preach about here. And while we still may get the preaching about Jesus and salvation, salvation and grace and whatnot, do not unwrite the spiritual laws and bonds and agreements that we make by sinning and doing other things. We open doorways that we aren't aware of. We bring ourselves into bondage and into strongholds that we don't even know of until maybe God reveals it to us later. And I was married to a succubus for, I don't know, maybe a decade. And it wasn't until that process of having a spiritual wife was truly robbing me of vital essences and fluids <laughs> that eventually were killing me off this last year that the Lord revealed it to me that what was happening and what it was, you know, he really broke me. And uh, I just wanted to come on and talk about that specifically because there's probably a lot of other people that are under a similar bondage and they don't even realize it, like a sexual or a, a lust spirit or something like that. It's, it's not always just your, you know, your physical being, your, your human nature or anything like that, you know, especially if you're a Christian and you're fighting against these things because you want to be close to the Lord. You can't. You can't be close to the Lord. God will still love you. And you may even have your fire insurance, Jesus's blood to get into heaven. But unless you're pleading the blood and consecrating yourself and, and ridding your spirit, your body of these spirits, because you can be a Christian and still be ridden by spirits, by demons, all kinds of unclean spirits and watchers and monitoring spirits that report back. I mean, gosh, there's just such a spiritual world around us that people are unaware of here in America. <laughs> and uh, how, how would they know? How would they know otherwise? And so, again, I, I don't want to steal the thunder of, you know, my pastor by making this title, you know, I was married to a succubus or something. When his video is called, I was married to a witch at birth. 60 year old witch that is go and check him out james koale in uganda he's still very small the the church is very small but the messages are right from heaven they worship and do services multiple times a week and uh <clears throat> if god is going to bring revival up in this world it's going to start in uganda it's going to start with james mark my words because i've never seen a man more touched by the spirit of the Lord and redeemed because there's no greater power in this world that the Lord can use for his good than the people who were sold out for the dark and doing evil things because they know all of their inner workings. They know all the ways they operate, when they operate and how, and they can teach us how to combat it, intercede for other Christians, this entire world. This is where revival starts. Check out James.